just in class, I'm going to make you guys a video just practicing the whole net ionic equation thing. I'm going to pick five problems from your homework. So if you chose to watch this video tonight, I'm about to do half of your homework for you. So I'm going to work out, let me pick good colors over here. I'm going to work out number, oh, I need to pick a pen. Freaking A. There we go. Okay, numbers two, three, five, six, and eight. I think give a pretty good sampling of the questions that I gave you. So first up, number two is Na2CO3 sodium carbonate which I tell you is aqueous, plus iron chloride, which I also tell you is aqueous, gives way to iron carbonate, and you need to figure out what that is, and sodium chloride. Hopefully by now you see sodium chloride and you automatically know aqueous, but you might still have to look it up. First thing we're going to do is balance this guy, which all we got to do is put a little two right there. Now you need to look up and see, okay, what state is iron carbonate going to be in? Well, I just so happen to have stuck the solubility rules on here. And this is iron carbonate, so that's the two words that I'm going to be looking for. And I look and I look, oh, look, there's the word carbonate. Most carbonates are insoluble except sodium, potassium, and ammonium. Well, I don't have sodium, potassium, or ammonium, so that tells me that my carbonate is insoluble. So that means that it is going to be a solid. So now anything that is written as aqueous, I'm going to ionize. I'll switch colors to keep things interesting here. So I have two sodium ions, one carbonate ion, if you're wondering how I know the charges on my ions, it's because way back when, when my teacher told me to memorize them, I memorized them. If you didn't, do it now. Then you've got iron, and since it's bonded to two chlorines, that means that this is iron with a plus two charge. And we have two chlorines with a minus one. Over on the other side, we said that iron carbonate was a solid, so it's going to stay just like it is all together plus our two sodiums and two chlorines. Now we get to cross out the ions that are the same on both sides. So I got two sodiums here, got two sodiums there, two chlorines there, two chlorines there. My overall net ionic equation is the carbonate ion plus the iron ion gives me iron carbonate. And there's that net ionic reaction. All right, number three. Number three says magnesium hydroxide, which is aqueous, plus hydrochloric acid, which is also aqueous, gives way to magnesium chloride, which we'll need to figure out what that is, plus water, which we'll also need to figure out what that is. Of course, we need to balance this thing. Plop two right there, and there we go. Okay, um, so first I'm going to ionize everything that says aqueous. Well, i got to figure out before I can do that what these guys are. Magnesium chloride, coming down here to my solubility rules, you see it says most chlorides are soluble except silver, mercury, lead. Well, I don't have silver, mercury, lead. I have magnesium. So magnesium chloride is soluble. So that means I'm going to write that as a Q. Now, H2O, that's water. Well, water is a liquid. So I, I can't, you can't have water be aqueous because aqueous means dissolved in water, and water dissolved in water is just water. So we're just going to write it as a liquid. So now we ionize everything that's aqueous. If it's a liquid, a solid, or a gas, it stays together. So we have magnesium with a plus two charge, two hydroxides, um, negative charge. Oh, you know what? I didn't balance this right. Let me do that. Plus two hydrogens, plus two chlorines gives us a magnesium 
plus two chlorines, plus two waters. Now I get to cross stuff out. So I got a magnesium on both sides. I got two chlorines on both sides. And I end up with two hydroxides plus two hydrogens gives me two waters. Now you can go ahead and get rid of these twos. Just reduce them out basically so that you have OH plus H. Oh, sorry, I left off my minus. Plus H plus yields H2O. This net ionic reaction is an indicator, one type of indicator that you have an acid base reaction, which we'll learn about in the next little unit thing. Anytime you have an OH, that's a base. Of course, hydrochloric acid is an acid, and it gives you a salt plus water. This is a reaction that we will study a lot in the next chapter. All right, moving on to the next one. Probably going to have to do this in two parts. So number five is Na2CO3, sodium carbonate again, which I tell you is aqueous, plus hydrochloric acid, which is also aqueous, gives way to sodium chloride. You'd better by now start recognizing that as aqueous. Uh, plus CO2, need to figure out what that is, plus H2O. And from the last question, hopefully you remember that water is a liquid. Now CO2, I really hope that you recognize this as carbon dioxide, and so you know that this is a gas. So we're going to ionize everything that's aqueous. If it's a solid, liquid, or gas, it stays as it is. Uh, actually, first we need to balance it. So we got two sodiums. We put two there. One carbonate. Well, okay, we can't do carbonate. So we got one carbon, one carbon, three oxygens, two three oxygens, one hydrogen, two hydrogens, ooh, two there. And that gives us two chlorines and two chlorines. Okay, so we're good. So we have two sodium ions, a carbonate ion, two hydrogen ions, plus two chlorine ions. Gives way to two sodium ions, two chlorine ions. A carbon dioxide we don't separate because it's a gas, and a water that we don't separate because it's a liquid. Now we get to cross out. So I got two sodiums, I got two chlorines, and all that I'm left with is the carbonate ion, a couple of hydrogen ions, giving way to carbon dioxide gas, and water. All right, I'm going to go ahead and stop here and do the last two as a part two because I'm not going to have time to get two in in under two minutes. So there's part one. Part two is coming.